Hello guys, welcome back to Tutorials Point. Uh, we have already done with the setup of uh, Android Studio in our local machine. Now in this video, we would be actually starting up with Android Studio. Now, as you've already seen that in the last video when we uh, clicked on finish, then the, if you would have checked yourself in your machine, under the start menu, you would have got a folder as Android Studio. Now, on that folder, if you click, you would be able to see Android Studio. On clicking on Android Studio, you would be given a new wizard wherein you would be required to configure the entire, entire Android Studio. For that thing, uh, for the configuration and for all the stuff, we, we would be doing a hands-on after this session wherein we would be seeing how we move on step by step to making our new uh, or making our new Android project or the launching our new Android Studio. Now, to start a new Android project, you need to open your Android Studio, click on the start new project. From there on, you have to mention the steps as I will be doing in the upcoming video on create new project wizard. Now let's see how do we actually do it. Hello guys, welcome again. This video is about setting up your Android Studio. I hope you all have been through the setup process of Android Studio wherein we install the JDK and the Android Studio onto a machine. In this video, we'll be learning about how do we start the Android Studio and the setup of the Android SDK. Now, what we can do is you can go to your start menu and open up your Android Studio. So here's my Android Studio. I start Android Studio. Now after this one, it would be asking about some settings. Now let's see what it waits. It is saying unable to access Android uh, SDK we can have it so this is a win this is the welcome wizard window we click on next and what type of setup you want uh, we want a standard setup if you are not much available of things and you're not much aware about you can go for a standard setup if you know the components being involved or the components installed then you can go on custom I recommend you going for the standard version now it is asking me that which SDK do I need to use so the SDK is over here no as you know that we are this was the SDK we give this path now we click on next so now uh, this is saying that everything is there just we need to download the Android support repository if you're not having it, make sure you do, you download the Android uh, the entire Android support repository. It would be needing we would be needing it in the later actions or when we are working on the applications later on. So let's have patience till it downloads the entire support repository. It's some 200 MB depending on the internet speed you are working upon. It may take that amount of time. So guys, I think we are good after the installation. So make sure these things have been installed. So the support repository is consisting of the following things that have been installed in our system right now. These all like, you know, like your design, your grid layout, all of these things perform as a part of support repository. Right now it is giving an error that HUXM is installing fail. Now it's giving an error, HXM installation failed. We will be looking into this error uh, in the next uh, coming upcoming video. No problem about that. Let's click finish. So after clicking finish, uh, here is the Android Studio that we are having. This is the option that is coming onto our screen. Start a new studio project, open an existing project, check out the project from version control, import a sample or import a existing uh, Eclipse project or a Gradle project. Now what we do? We have to click on the start a new Android project. This is the this is the window that comes up. It is known as a new, create new project window. Here you are supposed to give the application name for your project. I name it as hello world. Now here it is saying that hello world this is the domain we can skip this one this is the package name guys make sure you are giving a valid package name and identifier package name because in Android whatever packages you are giving they would be the unique identifier for your application I click on next 
now it is asking me that you want to run app or you want to make app for what version phone and tablet via tv android auto or glass currently i keep it only as phone and tablet now it is asking about minimum sdk what do we mean by the term minimum sdk minimum sdk is nothing but a measure of like what level you want to run or your device on let's let's ask google like how do we choose see if you're running your application on 4.0 then 95 or 97.4 percent of the devices would be supported this is known as the device chart we click next over here now what we want you want a blank basic activity or let's empty activity or full screen activity what is activity we would be covering up in the next video in this video we are only focusing on the uh, hello world project or a simple basic project I click on next it's asking for an activity name let's name it main activity and the layout as activity underscore main don't worry about that both these things would be clear as we go on and complete the hello world project we click on finish this would be opening a dialog wherein it would be creating the, the entire projects on its own this might again this might again take three to four or five minutes you need to have patience for it because this is this bit is being made for the only for the very first time that's why it's uh, asking okay since it's uh, the windows laptop uh, the windows is blocking the execution of java we need to allow access so now it's configuring the projects it's getting the dependencies so here is the uh, what we say the first view of your android studio I think you are very good with it. Any doubts? You can obviously ask us. Okay, so it's giving an error that the build tool this needs Java 1.8 and above. No problem. Now, this is the very first project that we have made. Now, what you do is you have to go to this particular button. After help, second button from the back. This is known as the SDK manager. Now, click this. This is telling what all applications or what all SDK platforms you are having. I recommend you to choose the version which is the most stable like we can have this version as of now. Now click on OK. now it will download the SDK platform 22 we are downloading the 22 platform because this one this was giving an error and was not running properly on Android on Java 1.7 yeah so it's unzipping this one another two three four minutes not more than that Yeah, this is going good as of now. So I think we are good now. Uh, the process has completed the installation. We click on finish. Okay, so now let's see what all we have got as of now. See, it's giving Android Nugget uh, requires ID to run on Java 1.8 or later. So, for this, I recommend all of you to uh, get the latest Java. Let me also get that thing. After installing J uh, JDK 8 onto my machine, this is the final output I see. Uh, this is the Android Studio. This is the sample scene I am working on. This is my XML file. Now, 
this was still the hello world project uh, the entire structure of the project what are these files what are these templates they would be shown up in the session when we cover about the project structure and running this thing would be a part of the running your AVD that we also will be covering up in the coming section so as of now that will be all let's get back and see in the next session how it goes